Hey everybody, Dr. Barron here with virtualheadachespecialist.com. Just want to drop a little bit of information on magnesium. Magnesium is a very common supplement used for migraine prevention. We have a lot of patients that ask about it. Uh, they want to know what kind of magnesium, what the dosing is. Uh, and so I want to just go over the highlights about magnesium. Uh, first of all, the way that magnesium works. Uh, when you think of migraine, we, th we think of migraine as uh, your nervous system is in an overactive, oversensitive state. So everything is just way more sensitive, whether it's stimuli of bright light or loud sounds, strong smells, um, visual motion sensitivity. You know, the brain is just in this over hypersensitive state. Uh, and so magnesium helps to decrease the irritability of that oversensitivity uh, and decreases that hypersensitivity uh, of the migraine brain. So it does that through a lot of different ways. Uh, the literature has suggested a lot of ways that can happen. And so magnesium influences a lot of steps in migraine pathophysiology, uh, including things like cortical spreading depression, uh, serotonin receptor activation and the balance of serotonin levels, uh, neurotransmitter release and the balance of various neurotransmitters, uh, CGRP release, NMDA receptor interactions, uh, vascular tone, so uh, dilation of the blood vessels uh, and, and narrowing these kind of, this is what we call tone, uh, release of substance P, which is involved in pain fiber pathways. Uh, it interferes with inflammatory mediator. So there's a lot of ways that um, magnesium has been suggested to work in migraine prevention. The dose of magnesium is anywhere between 400 to 800 milligrams a day. And there's really five main types of magnesium that I like to talk about with patients. Uh, the first is magnesium glycinate, which I tend to prefer. Um, this one is very good for those with a sensitive stomach. Uh, if you have GI side effects like diarrhea uh, to other forms of magnesium, this would be a, a really good one to consider. Anecdotally, it can also be helpful for sleep and anxiety. So, you know, common issues that happen with migraine patients. Uh, the second is magnesium threonate also has very low GI side effects. Uh, anecdotally, it can help with cognitive function and brain fog, so patients often find it useful for those symptoms. The third is magnesium malate, uh, also has low GI side effects, uh, like diarrhea. And anecdotally, this one tends to be a little more energizing. Uh, it can be helpful in fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, um, these kind of symptoms. Magnesium citrate is the fourth type of magnesium. Uh, this one's been pretty well studied over the years. Um, it's a well-absorbed form of magnesium. Uh, you can easily mix it with other liquids if you can't take pills, so that's one benefit of this. Uh, it does have a higher risk of diarrhea uh, and some GI side effects like that, so that's what to be aware of with that one. But if you have constipation, maybe this would be one to consider, for example. And the fifth one is magnesium oxide, probably one of the most common that I see people using. Uh, also well-studied, cheap stuff. Um, it's often used for heartburn uh, and indigestion as well. Uh, it's not real well absorbed. Uh, it can have some laxative effects as well. So also, if you have constipation, uh, this one may make more sense. If you have issues with diarrhea or, um, you know, you get diarrhea often, you know, I would probably avoid this one and I would also avoid the magnesium citrate. Uh, so that is um, the overview on magnesium, guys. All right, thanks. Bye.